Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I'm Baron and we are at the uh, Tower of the Iron Throne actually. Isn't that nice? Um Okay. Fear my wrath, for it is great indeed. Salima Cloudwolf. Fear my wrath, for it is great indeed. Who dares intrude upon our negotiations? My name is Emissary Tar. I am here to negotiate an iron treaty with Thorn uh, with Thaldorn on behalf of the Grand Dukes. How many emissary tars do we have now? Three? Fool! Miss Tar stands right before you and she was just leaving. Weren't you, my dear? Honestly, this has gone long enough. Hmm, and who are you to say so? I have crushed all those before you. Those before us were fools, as you are. Those before us were weak, as you are. Those before us were not Talima or Gardush or Naman. Or Diab, or Azim, or Ali. Those before us are dead, as you will be. So it has been decreed, so it shall be done. So order Serevok. Where is Serevok, actually? Stop it. Okay. Um, stop it, guys. I say we attack the spellcasters first. This one. Everybody is using range, right? Yes. Hurry up! This one is down. Now we attack you. Oops. What is your command? It is a fine Okay, there's another. That doesn't matter. Another spellcaster here. Okay, this one is dead too. Let's kill that doppelganger. He starts to annoy me. Hurry up! What would you have me do? See? Okay, now I guess you're the one. You have need you should use the sword. Everybody attack this one. No. Hurry up! Use the sling. Um <coughs> what would you have me do? Kill this one, there's another mage. What is your command? Drink something. Your wish? Shit. They killed her. No, where was my save? Um What would you have me do? To, maybe I should cast your the haste wish? to speed things up. Hurry up! And up again. Fear my wrath, for it is great indeed. <clears throat> Stop it. Ouch, someone did cast a flame strike here. I don't like that too much. Okay, where's the last one? One use the dimension door to get out of here. Oh, there he is. Oh, there are actually several. Ally. Ally is dead too. And now you. He died too. Did we get them all? Let's take a look at XP. 1800. 1800. 3000. 
2000 1600 420 1800 Okay, so we killed 7. Is that all? We shall see. Okay, there appears to be nobody in here. That is empty too. Wait, who are you? Thaldon. Hi. Hello. I don't want any trouble. What does Thaldon have to say? Hello. What are you I doing here? Get out of trouble. this building before I call the guards. We can't do that until you answer some questions. You're here to kill me, aren't you? You can't kill me! Do you know who I am? I'm Thaldon, one of the leader of the Iron Throne. Hmm. Could you just tell us where the other leaders of the Iron Throne are located? Uh, if you do, we'll spare your miserable life. The other leaders, Brunos and Rialto, are there at Candlekeep, attending business with some benefactors from the south. Will you let me go now, please? First, tell us where we can find hard evidence that could frame your business for all of the deviltry going on along the coastway. Please don't hurt me. You can find everything you need with Realta. He's the true leader of the operation. He always carries everything on his person. Am I free to go? No, you're leader of the Iron Throne. You die. No, please let me live! I'm still a dead man. So, what's that? A potion of agility. What does that do? Studded leather armor plus one. Potion of agility. Raises dexterity to 18. <coughs> I don't think that we need that. Short sword plus one. Oh, what's in here, I wonder? So, yeah, the haste did all the difference actually. I mean, if they wouldn't have focused on uh, the cleric what would you have in the first right, run, right. I would have defeated them too. But I guess they always go for the one who has the lowest amount of hit points, I guess. And that was the cleric after the shapeshifter started attacking her. So there's nothing here, actually. Fine. Wish? Tell them though I find so little fault with someone. I hope, I hope it lasts. Thank you for the <coughs> kind words. So, what do we get here? Oil of fury burning, potion of perception, and the warhammer. Hurry up! Very well. Oh, wand of the heavens. And inventory is full. That's a Warhammer plus one. That's probably a mace plus one. That's just money. A potion of stone giant strength. Wand of the heavens. That's something you could use, I guess. Elixir of health. You have those, actually. So, hmm, how about you use this one here? And a uh, portion of perception, that's something Imoen can use. Antidote. Who has the antidotes? You have a few antidotes, I guess. But you have a lot, actually. But now you have five again. Uh, portion of oil of fury burning, nobody needs that. What would you have me um, do? All right, all right. Guess I already looted that. What's that? A scroll. Yay! What does it say? I have a task for you and those you have selected. You, the first of the faithful, are to stand ground in my stead. Be assured that I would not belittle your devotion with simple guard duty. This 
chaw is of particular interest to me, and thus to you. Hey, which I blow me has become a thorn in my side. I wish it removed. Do so, and you shall please me greatly. Such is your charge. Do not fail this. Sarabok. Mm, I guess he failed. Halbert. Plus two, actually. Hmm. Do we need that? We already have spider spain. That's a plus two. Sword. And a free action bonus. No, so I guess we don't need that. Go away. So you didn't drop anything, <clears throat> but you did drop something. Whee! Lots of nice thingies. What's that here? Ring of free action. Yay! That's something for Khalid. What do you have here? Um, Ring of infravision. <laughs> that is useless. Thing. Um, what, you also have a ring of free action? Great. It's important for our mm, main fighters to have rings of free action. So I can use a weapon, they can still go in there and kill everybody. Braces of defense, AC7, I guess that's not much help to anybody. That's a wand of lightning. Exactly. I don't need that. Confusion. Dispel magic, fireball, known alignment, vocalize. Ooh, I have to save before I try to scribe that because I only have a 95% chance to learn it. But it worked. <coughs> Inventory is full, no shit, really. Oh, you can have a few. Protection from undead. Dimension door. Protection from missiles. And I guess I don't need that. Your wish? No. Hurry up. Um, did I loot you? you? Yes, I did loot you. And you? Two. What would you have me do? Okay, pay? that's nice. What's that here? Nice statue. So I guess we can go down again. <coughs> we got everything here, yeah. So we killed a few leaders of the Iron Throne. That's not half bad, I must say. Where is the stair leading down? That would be this all right, one. All right. Should be another stair leading down. I don't see it though. Weird. Let's take this one then. All right, all right. <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um. Okay. Is this the ground floor? Yeah, that's the ground floor. If you insist. Okay, now we should go to to, uh, to Scar. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I serve the flaming oh. fist. Hello there, friends. Might I have a word? Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. I know you have been attacked at almost every turn, but I am an ally, true and sure. Gatmon. Well met, stranger, what news do you bring? I am just an aide to Scar. He wish his wish was that I keep an eye on you, though you seem more capable than taking care of yourselves. I do think, however, that you would benefit from a visit with him. He should await you at the Flaming Fist headquarters in the southwest corner of the city. If he's not there, just speak directly to Duke Elton. And then I shall proceed there forthwith. Good travels to you, I take my leave. Okay. That worked nicely. Now we should actually talk to Scar. But I'm not gonna visit the Duke yet. We still gotta do the thing with um, <coughs> Algos Bird. We still have the 
seed shots. And I still have that amulet of protection. Why didn't I find uh, that, you know, um, the sun that I should give it to? I think he was here. Yeah, Flaming Fist, that's the headquarters. You said something? No, I don't didn't say anything. <coughs> yes. No. Where's the rest of my party? No, oh, there they are. So, save and get in. Yes. Oh, I am a man right. of my word. I am glad to see you have returned. What news do you bring to me? <clears throat> According to one of the merchants we met, the Seven Sons have been infiltrated by some sort of shapeshifter. I don't know what kind of monsters they are, but the merchants are fearful. <coughs> uh, this is very serious need. I must ask you a sev very serious news. I must ask you another favor. If you were to return to the compound and destroy this investigation of monsters, I would be willing to double your wage. Sure, we can go back, but the reward better be worth it. Yay! We got 5,000 XP and 2,000 gold, and Shahira leveled. So we talk to you again. Back so soon? How did your battle fare? The doppelgangers are dead. Jasso is back in control of the business. I'm impressed. You're as good as your word, and obviously very deadly in your work. I'll give you the wage you deserve, triple of our original agreement. I want to keep in touch with you, especially if the Iron Throne is up to what you say it is. I have another job you might be interested in. You will be well paid for your service. Care to hear more? Oh, okay, now we got 2000 more experience, 4000 gold and the party's reputation is increased by 2, but we were already at the maximum. So we're always interested in more work. What does it entail? The problem is this. Every night people have been disappearing from the streets of the city. My men have been scouring the city trying to find a culprit but so far to no avail. People have begun to get scared and very few are willing to leave their homes at night. Something has to be done and fast. Would you be willing to take the job? I'd pay you 300 gold in advance with a 1000 gold bonus if you discover what's been happening with the disappearing citizens. What do you say? Well, we agree to your terms. Your job really is simple. All I want you to do is patrol the east of the city and find an entrance to the sewers. Perhaps you get lucky and find out what's been happening. If you do find out what's been happening, come to see me at the Flaming Fist Barracks. Our only clue so far has led us to the sewers, so if you want to explore them first, it would probably be a good idea. Also, we found some tracks of some many-legged creature, perhaps a centipede-like monster? Okay... The Flaming Fist aren't mercenaries. They're this city's police force. Oh yeah, well, I said Ogre Mage. It's good to see you again. How have things gone? We learned that an Ogre Mage holed up in the sewers was responsible for all the disappearances. He had several carrion crawlers that would steal out at night to carry off random victims. The crawlers used their hapless prey as food, whilst the Ogre Mage took any valuables they might have. You've done a good job and earned your bonus in full. Do you have any of the items possessed by the ogre's victims? I'm sure their families would like to have something to remember of their loved ones. We know for a fact that the Sessions their family lost a daughter to those creatures. She had a signet, a signet ring, a ring inside with a ruby. Oh fuck, I probably sold that. Sorry we didn't have anything, didn't find anything. That's too bad, Well, I'm going to need some people to do some investigating of the Iron Throne. I'm just going to finish up some paperwork and then I'll be outside of the main doors of the Flaming Fist compound. If you wish to discuss the Iron Throne, just come talk to me there. And we get 2000 more experience and 1000 gold. 
Yeah, the problem is I sh probably should have Orion taken this stuff from the Ogre Mage. I'm didn't really, I don't really remember <coughs> whether I took it. I just let it lie there. It probably disappeared. Yeah, well, can't be helped. Ah, that happens when you, you know, solve quests before you actually get them. So, level up for Jahira it is. <coughs> so, she gets another Druid level 85, 91. Awesome. Now she is a level 9 Druid. Hmm, Flame Blade? <coughs> yeah, why not? Might come in handy. Ooh, and we have a cure critical, but sadly no heal spell yet. Your wish? Okay. Um, wait. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, this is Scar. Your courage. <coughs> Thank Sorry. You for I, I talk to you? Hello, hey, Witcher Plume. I have another Better job for you. This one like involves a group you've dealt with in the past, the Iron Throne. Duke Elton himself wishes to speak to you about this. Will you come with me? Sorry, we have other things on our mind right now. Perhaps you do not understand the importance of our your invitation. One of the Grand Dukes has created, requested an audience. It would be embarrassing for both of us if you do not show up. Sorry, our minds are made up. Okay. Um, we will do that later. Level, where is it? Quick save here. Uh, first, I still have that necklace here. Of protection. I mean, that of protection. Um, I have to see where that belongs to, so hold on for a second. So, apparently, here is something that I did overlook. We are in that district here. Go Ryan with Yurik. Right. Right. Boy. Not to talk with strangers. Hey, what do you want? I didn't do nothing. Hey, what's that amulet you have here? Mom set you up to this, didn't she? Alright, alright. It looks dumb, but I'll wear it. Tell my mom Nadine that I miss her, but I'm not coming back. Tell her I'll be safe. Bye bye now. Okay, 1100 XP. Who are you? Commoner, commoner, commoner. And you the bartender, I guess. Pray tell, what has brought you into my fine establishment today? New customers are always a welcome sight. I have a coin or two burning a hole in my purse. Let's see what you have to offer. Or we could rest here, for instance. That would be awesome. Oh wait, do I still have a what healing have spell that do? I could use? No. Do you still have a healing spell? Yes. Do you still have a healing spell? No. Your wish? Oh, yes, yes. Only the best for us. Yeah, I sold a few items uh, at the Source of Sundries, now I'm one on the, I have 171,000 experience points. Hurry up. Um, well. You know, gold coins, not really experience points, I actually have. 182,000. Yeah, experience points. It's almost, you know, it comes what would close. You have me do? What do we have here? Oh, wait. This is another entrance. Okay. So I guess we have to return to Nadine now. Um, Very well. You know, that's the, the woman, uh, the mother of that boy that we just gave the amulet. <coughs> So I don't know what to do with those letters. Do I really need them? I guess not. I guess we don't need them. Yeah, I guess I can drop them. The quest is done. <coughs> so I think she was in the central area somewhere. But where? Where are we? Where is north? Okay, we have to go to the right.
stud here. No. That's not what I want. What's that? Okay. All right, all right. Let's go to that house. Well, this is all, this is quite a long way, actually. I will pause the video till we there. Hold on for a second. Okay, we are here. Let's if go in there. Yeah, there is Nadine. That was kind of you to do that for me. As for Yurik, he'll come home when he's ready. Here, let me give you this necklace as a token of my thanks. It is very powerful, but one must be careful with it. Okay, 400 XP. What do we get? Necklace of mi necklace ne 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 a necklace of missiles. The naming uh, the one gift lost. The naming of this necklace originates from its only owner, Ikadia Morniv, who quested uh, to regain his kidnapped daughter. Oh, I, I think I already had that. Not many would have helped the determined father, but a kind and generous mage bestowed this item on him to aid his cause. Alas, the necklace was lost when Ikaida dropped it into the Imoflow River while fanning off bandits upon a suspension bridge. Fortunately, it is rumored that the item was not needed to reunite the family once again. Hopefully not in death. I guess you can wear it. Okay, Hurry up. and since we have the sea charts here, we will actually go now to Algoth Bird again. Baird, Beard, whatever. And, you know, continue with the Tales of the Sword fucking coast. Move it. I was Baird. Ain't that great? Where was that guy? I think he was here, but um, it, it's been a while since I visited that place. I may be wrong. <coughs> and after we've dealt with uh, the whole, you know, uh, expansion thingy, then we'll return to Avaldo's Gate and talk to Scar and visit the Dukes. Callahan. No, you're not the one I'm looking for. Where's the rest of my party? Oh, they're coming alright. What are the two girls doing? Oh, here they are. Fine, open the door and get in. There is Mendes. Hi. Wonderful, my friends. I copy charts now. If you are ready, I hire a boat for your journey. Here is the money I owe you. 2000 gold. Okay, I'm ready. Where's your boat? I hire a boat at the docks here in Algos Baird. I meet you there soon. Yay, 2000 more XP. I guess he leaves now. Oh, I guess we already needed this place. Boats. Would that be here? Very well. Oh, may no, it's actually here. Listen, please. All is ready, fans. I pay for boat and give copy of sea charts to you. I have bought boat to use. It has food and water for journey. Everything is ready. You go now? <coughs> Let us leave immediately. Most excellent heroes, may gods grant you speedy journey. I will await your return at my house here in Algas Baird. Go well. Your ship sets its sails against the morning light, and you are off across the waves. The Sea of Swords allows your passage without incident, and in a scant amount of time, you are on to truly open waters. A score or more of days pass, but the aptly named trackless sea seems to stretch before you without end. The waters are calm, 
though the wind remains steady and sure. The merchant vessel your employer has chartered is a fine ship, but her crew is not accustomed to journeys so far off the established trade routes. The more superstitious among them speak of a great waterfall off the edge of Faroon, of a secret elven nation that scuttles all that dare come near, or even of island-sized turtles that eat whole ships. Such fancy weighs heavily on the minds of nervous sailors, and the mood aboard ship slowly turns. Tensions begin to mount, and rumors of mutiny threaten your resolve. It is a mixed blessing that all aboard are soon given a very real danger to occupy their thoughts. The storm comes without warning and hits with a fury that seems almost deliberate. Gale force winds toss the ship about like a cork, and it is all the crew can do to keep her afloat. Their efforts, though valiant, are ultimately futile. And when the mainmast splitters, you know the ship is lost. As the hull gives way, there is a glimpse of something in the distance. A steady illumination against the black of night. Grasping debris for flotation, you abandon the wreck and begin to swim under the heavy burden of your equipment. You head towards the glow, hoping it is not a sea wisp or some other nefarious trick of the eyes. You awake the next morning with a mouthful of sand. You are waterlogged, exhausted, and you have an aching pain that lets you know you are very much alive. The ship is so much kindling. There is no sign of the crew, but there do appear to be footprints in the sand. Okay. Again, the way back is blocked. Oh, who are you? Soliana. You are new. <coughs> Hello, you. You smell funny. You swimming? Yes, child, I did swim in. Our ship sank and we are in need of shelter. Okay, I believe you. Not see many that swim in. Many float, but don't wake up. <coughs> Fishies are mean and cliffs hurt ship homes. You lucky. Still smell funny though. Maybe you stay and belong? Belong to whom, little one? You are not alone here? Alone? Of course not, silly. There's mommy, poppy and brother too. We got neighbors too. The village is very nice. It's boring sometimes, but I like it. The seas are treacherous in this area. How did you come to live here? I saw no ships nearby. Mommy says great great creme came here <coughs> on a ship home like you. Something happened and they had to swim or be caught by the fishies. The ship home is here somewhere, I guess. We're not allowed to go there. You do not seem alarmed to see me. How often do strangers come here? Not very often. They don't always want to make... And they don't always want to make friends. That's what Mame says, but I've never seen anyone that doesn't belong. Until I meet you, anyway. You still smell funny, but you're not scary. Not like the beasties. The beasties? What do you mean? The beasties are scary. They sometimes look like us, but they change and get mean. Mommy says they are nothing more than animals, but the other animals don't hate us so much. Maybe, maybe you will help us? Oh no, not shapeshifters again. Perhaps, but I should meet with your people and find out what's going on first. Yeah, you go to the village and speak to Mommy's friend Kaishas. She leads while Mr. Chieftain is away. Don't know where he went, but he's away and you should speak to Kaishas. I gotta go, but maybe we will see each other later. Maybe I too busy playing. We'll see. Bye bye. Okay, I guess we survived that. Uh, you know the ship crashed. <coughs> the shipwreck. Um. Uh, did do we still have all our stuff? Mm. Everything seems to be in order. Fine. So I say we take a break here and uh, continue in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.